G-Day, people! This is Chef Peter here. Welcome you guys to episode number 41 of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Shiny Log. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the like button down below for us, because as always, your support is really appreciated. In our episode, you guys, we took on Maxi and Archie, both of which had both Groudon and Kyogre. We did lose the life of one of our newest recruits, but in doing so, we were able to make it through the battle in one piece. Today, we've got two more pathways to explore. So let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking out with today. So we've got Electrox the Lantern, Firefly the Volcarona, Garchop 2.0 the Flygon, the newest addition to our team, our, uh, Sensei the Oranguru, Reptile the Tyranitar, and Optimus the Metagross. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and speak to Lily, because she can heal up our Pokemon. Rotom, you think I should save? Okay, maybe I should. Let's heal up, let's save the game right now. If Ram says we should, you know, we should definitely, we should definitely do that. Alright, left, alright. Let's go left this time. We went this way the first time we met, uh, Archie, your relentless advance stops here. Another Fero, always with the Feroes. Da 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 da. It flew up high. Woo! All right. So, question for today. Let us see here. So, Oh, we got the war puzzles! Hey! The return of the war puzzles. Alright, so question for today. I know before in the previous Let's Plays I've said what has been the most annoying puzzles uh, ever, but I'll ask you guys, what has been your favourite puzzle? And honestly, this right here is a perfect example of one of my favourites. Let's go for a... I'm going for an Ice Beam. I don't trust this thing. Nightshade. I really don't trust the Destiny Bond, guys. I really don't. Nightshade. Okay, it seems to be the one thing this Haunted just keeps doing. Down goes the Hunter. Hunt, 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 hunt. Alright, so if I just say what my favourite puzzle would be, it's this right here. All these wall panel puzzles, they're absolutely fun. Who doesn't like a good wall panel uh, thing? Okay, so... This looks like this is the way to go to get the... Um, this item. Which turns out to be a revive. We'll quickly go ahead and full restore our Electrux. Now, considering Electrox is just about to level up, we'll go ahead and swap around. Um, let's go ahead and let Reptar actually take the stage. We haven't used Reptar. Uh, we used it, we didn't even get to use it in that battle against, um, uh, Maxi, because, I mean, really, he couldn't really do much else. And against Archie as well. I mean, we had, we used, um, Tyrantar to get rid of the, the, the Drizzle, which definitely was a big, was definitely a big help. Don't get me wrong, guys. Um... Uh, but, you know, yeah, we didn't really need it in against Groudon because, really, he would have got absolutely fucked. A Zeke. Zeke, Zeke. I need to use the restroom, but these, these arrows, ah. <laughs> oh, that would suck. If you had to use the bathroom here to try and figure your way of these arrows, yeah, that would kind of suck. Eradicate. Go, Reptar! Let's get some payback. Oh, 
Optimus level 69! Woohoo! Optimus, let's go! Now, uh, how do I get back over there? Okay, so, no! Okay, luckily they didn't kill me. Alright, uh... Go up here. Oh, that one up the top there does Okay, it just takes you back down. Okay, gotcha. I was looking at it straight ahead. I was like, wait, what? Ah, oh, I just have to do this. Got it. Well, based off this, I mean, I'd imagine I'd be taking on, um, you know, um, Giovanni, but I mean, he's the boss, so I don't think we're taking on him right away. I mean, I'd be very surprised if we do, but I just, I just think it's very doubtful. Um, okay, I guess we're going this way now. Ah, we're going back to where we started. Oh, boy. So, let's go this way. And let's go over here. There we go. Now we're making some progress, as it just warps us straight into the panel, telling us to totally disregard that item, and I'm saying, no, we're going to go back and gonna find that item. Thank you, sir. We'll go ahead... Hey, this item, it's a HP up P. Which I mean is good for money, good for business. And this item is a full restore. No, it's a hyper potion. Close enough, close enough. All that spinning around must have worn you out. Now let's have a battle, fair and square. If I'm still dizzy, how'd that be fair and square? Dumb idiot. A hypno- Oh! Perfect! Perfect! Let's go, Raptor! A sandstorm is flurried! You gonna Psy Shock? Oh, you a stupid idiot? Psy Shock's a dark type. Genius! That's why you're a grunt and that's why I'm. A cool trainer, you know? I am a cool... I'm cool! Here's another battle in a row, just to wear you down even more. Okay? You think you can wear me down with your partner who clearly doesn't understand the concept of psychic versus dark types? What do you got? You got an Arbok? Oh, come on, dude. Charbuck! Seriously, this theme is so fucking bomb as fuck! And it's so awesome. I would love to see Glitch X City make a remix of this. I can imagine she would, you know, but... Alright, let's go for a big old earthquake. Oh, god. An intimidating glare. Oops, it's paralyzed. Good old stadium announcer voice. Gunk shot. Oh, but we. Ah. Uh... Gunk shot. I think we resist that because we're rock type. And that we do. But we can't get poisoned because we're paralyzed. So that's good. A gold bat. I didn't know she had two Pokemon. Now we do. Let's go for a Stone Edge. Hoo Even with the Intimidate drop, though. Reptiles level 69. Woo -hoo. And Firefly is 69. And Electrox is 69. So I think the only one that's not 69 is a Ranguru. Oh, wow, he takes up two screens. Okay, you got half your head on the big screen, and your body, I'm just rubbing. I actually didn't know this until recently, but the body on Tyranitar's is actually uh, Pupitar. I did not realize that. Because if you look at the normal one, it's the same color as Pupitar, and he just grows the entire like endoskeleton on top of it, you know? I didn't even know that, but it's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. Until like just showing a shiny Tyranitar and like, ah, oh, the exact same color as the as Pupita. How convenient. Alright. Let's go ahead and get that hyper potion. 
And Flygon and Sensor at the 2 1, not level 69. So let's just go ahead. Let's see what we have in this batch. Oh, it's Cyrus! Yo, from Gen 4. What up, buddy? Who are you? It seems you are not a member of Team Rainbow Rocket. Hmm. My name is Cyrus. I would like to ask you one question. Is this world the new world? Um, I don't know. I can sense in you the strong desire to protect something. You have a powerful spirit. That must mean this isn't the world I desired. I use the power of the Pokemon that control time and space to create a perfect world. Okay, so this tells me this guy has either Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina. I can't wait to find out which one. Where the human spirit does not exist. That was when a great shadow appeared and engulfed me and brought me to this world. Is that a Pokedex? May I have a look? Zzzt. Interesting. In this world, even the Pokedex is... The wrong decks was made to help trainers. I see. So you have a spirit as well. But it's too late. Or too late. I cannot stop now. I must remove the weak, incomplete human spirit from this world and bring it to perfection. Oh no, I'm not going to let you do that. Stop. How foolish. I will not let anyone get in my way. Ooh! That music though? Houndoom is the first one! Wow, that's a pretty good call! Summon the Raptor! Level 65. Okay! These levels, again, these levels are really getting up there. Let's go for a Stone Edge. That shouldn't do too much. No burn? Beautiful. Poof! Sorry, hound him. I love you! I love you! I'm sorry. But I have to. And Garchomp 2.0 is level 69. A Weavile. Uh... Let's bring in Firefly! Let's go! Here comes the Weavile, with pressure. Hey, flashback to Diamond and Pearl. Heatwave, go! Down he goes. Get a little bit of health back. And Sensei's level 69. Cool. Honchcrow, oof. Jeez, these, are, these guys are not kidding around. Um, let's bring in Electrox. Go, Electrox! I like it. I, I can get. I can hear the tunes. It's like. I, I can appreciate when Game Freak does a good job. Honestly, I can, because it's like, hey, a Crobat. Uh, we'll stay in for that. Crobat. Okay. Uh, let's go for a Discharge. Cross Poison. Woo! And that was a... God damn it! Fuck you! Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Um, if that cross poison crits again, we're dead. But the question is, no, nah, no, nah, you know what, you know what? But I need to say my heals could just the last Pokemon: Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina. Best case scenario, it'd be Giratina because Tyranta could just wall that motherfucker. Worst case scenario, um. Worst case scenario, it's the probably the Palkia. Palkia will probably be the worst case scenario. I'm gonna go for another discharge. Cross poisons. Don't crit me again. That's all I ask. Okay, doesn't crit me. Great. Crabad's gone. Beautiful. Okay. And Samson's stuck. Woo. Okay. Palk. I 
said that was the worst case. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's think about this. Moves that it could have: spatial rend, some sort of water move, whether it be hydro pump or something, or a sphere, and one other move. Honestly, our, our best course of action. We haven't used any heals yet, which is good. Dun 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 dun. Here comes Palkia. Level 67! Ah! I'm gonna go for a calm mind. Let's see how much. Palkia does have spatial rent. Please, no! Oh! We actually take that pretty well, actually. Oh! Well, shit. Okay. Uh, Alright, quick math. That did 119. So we should be able to slide one more spatial rent. Yep, that we do. Beautiful. Okay, something can happen here. So we haven't used any heals this episode. So we've got uh, at this battle, sorry. Alright, now let's go ahead and use our first heal. Bring Sensei back up to, f to full. Now basically, the more we set up, the less his Spatial Rend does. And once he runs out of Spatial Rend, because that's his most powerful move, he really can't touch us. Alright, we'll have one more Calm Mind. Alright, we'll get one more Calm Mind, and then we'll heal up for the second time, and then we'll start our offense. Look at that. This is Spatial Rend. This is from a Palkia on a Ranguru. Now we're at plus four. Second heal for this battle. Go on to Sensei. Now we're at plus four. Let's see how much the Spatial Rend does. Now he has Surf, so that's what I'm saying. Now he runs out of Spatial Rend. Now he goes down to Surf, which is his next best move. And look how much damage that does. That's laughable. Laughable. Thunderbolt. Oh, she is Thunderbolt too. Plus four Psychic. Let's see how much damage it does. I told you, Palki is a bad damage emma. But you know what? Even with the worst case scenario, we still made it work for us. So you know what? I'm okay with that. Okay, we hit on Palkia, Woo! Oh my god, I was about to say. Best case scenario would have been Giratina because we have Tyranitar and Uranguru which would have been able to handle it. But god damn, we took care of it. Why are you able to create such strong bonds with your Pokemon? And how are you able to turn those bonds into strength? Don't you get it? Sharpino is this kind to a Pokemon. I see. You need not worry, Rotom. I will not do anything to this world. I believe I shall return to the perfect world I created. But before that, please take this key. The Galactic Key. Oh, it's a keypad. Use it to activate the machine on the wall behind me. That should open the mirror door. Had I met you sooner, would things have been different for me? Well, I'm not too sure. Alright, so we've used the key. And now it's open. But I can see a wall panel there that's not active. So... My guess is we have to go the other way, so... The key broke, okay. So I'm guessing it's just a single use only. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. We, we were able to handle that battle, even with the Palkia in the background. Like, that was some messed up shit, I'll tell you what. Let me, let me heal your Pokemon for you. I may not be very good at Pokemon battles, but I know a thing or two about healing. Well, Lily, we do appreciate your efforts, thank you very much. That we do appreciate. Alright, so, honestly, Oranguru did terrific. This is why I love Oranguru. Oranguru just has that potential to set up and sweep. Pretty much like, um, like Firefly does. But, uh, it's just more bulky and it's immune to its one weakness, which is Ghost-type, but then it's weak to Dark and Bug. So, that's just the other thing. But, it still does very well. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and put Garchomp 2.0 out front. And let's see what we find on this side of things. So, we've seen Archie, Maxi, and Cyrus. So next up would be Getus, and then if we're going in the order of things, then that would be next. So 
We got Ma coming in now. Hit him up with a mighty earthquake! Ah, oh, come on, dude. Toxic again. What is with the toxic in this game? Good god. It's like every single poison type learns toxic. And fun fact, poison types will never miss toxic unless it's ineffective. How cool is that? So even if you have like negative, if you have plus six evasion and negative six accuracy, you will still hit your toxic. It will be 100% accurate. Alright, Flygon, don't worry baby. I got you covered. Oh, you'll stand. Oh. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Heal up my boy Flygon over here. There we go. Look at that. Proud as punch. Proud as punch. Alright. Now we move along. Now, what kind of puzzle do we have here? Oh, these are the things like in Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. The, the, the Meowth the things where... It's like danger, danger, danger. If you see it, you have to get rushed by freaking uh, rocket grunts. That's what it looks like. I mean, that's that's just my opinion of it because it looks like the Persian. Well, not exactly Persian. I'm oh, speaking of Persian. Um, like the Persian statues that you see inside the rocket fortress inside the radio tower. So, I mean, similar. You know, no, oh, no sorry, not uh, not in radio tower in Mahogany Town. My apologies. Got that little technicality incorrect. Dark pulse. And we get flinched! Okay. Power gem. That is resisted. Earthquake! Was that? God damn, dude. <sighs> Come on, Garchomp 2. You really? Look, no offense, Garchomp, but like, honestly, you can't even kill Eradicate with an earthquake. Like, I thought Flygon was supposed to be powerful. I thought Garchomp was supposed to be powerful. But then again, you're not the original Garchomp. Okay, so. What happens if I step in front of the pathway? Alarm goes off. Beep, 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 intruder, intruder. You're back to the entrance. Okay, so can I move these things? Okay, apparently I can. Alright, so you just move these around. Ah. Okay, cool. Alright, so we just move them around. We got a calcium. Alright, well, I think we've got quite a bit of medication. One second here. Calcium. Let's go ahead and give it to you. Give it to you. Give this to you. Any other medicines? No? Okay. We'll then go ahead and uh, heal up the Flygon. Because I want to try to make Garchomp, feel, Garchomp 2.0 feel like a part of the team. But just out of curiosity, I want to see what his attack stat is. So it's 168. Okay, <laughs> Tyrannus is 226. And Metagross is 215 with the negative attack stats. So that's why I think I'm just getting a bit overwhelmed by the power of Tyranta and Metagross. It's like, dude, you can't drop in the ball. It's like, dude, I can't help it, okay? I'm not a top tier Pokemon. Well, he found me. Meow, meow, meow. Um, okay. Um, so question for today, hmm. Alright, well since we're taking on a few bosses, let me ask you guys this question. What has been the most difficult Pokemon battle in game? So like, Red and Blue, Giovanni, uh, and Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, it's Red, and, uh, well not Red, I mean, I guess Red. But like, you know, your rival in the game who steals Pokemon, I guess that could be classed as one of them. I think I'll go for Earth Power on this one, because now that we've got our attack reduced, I'd imagine Earth Power would probably do just a little bit more. Ooh! Look at that! God damn! Earth Power to the Power people! In this case, Power to the Guard Chomp, but you know what I mean, guys. You, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You all mean! Okay. So we have this over here up, but I can see that Meowth on the far left that's gonna... Bu My apologies, I didn't see the one that was looking directly in the path. I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's try this. Look away. There we go. Up, 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 up. Not falling for that again. Alright, now we move up here. And you go down. Okay, so. 
And they're back into the original place. Okay. You go like that. You do this. And we do this. And we do this. And that's every single me. No. Ah, ba, 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 ba. I don't think it was best to touch this one. Alright. So let's just get this item over here first. Then we'll swap it. So that's a PPRP. Okay, so that's another one we can use for later. Cool. Alright, now we're going to swap this around. So now it's not staring at the warp panel. And now we enter it. Okay. Alright, now we're making some progress. Alright, so no grunts in here. Alright, so we have this item on the far left, but we can't get because... Okay, I'm just trying to do some quick solutions over here. Up, down, okay? Uh, we'll put you over here. There we go. We'll put you over here. So now we can make our way over to the item. Good. A cell battery. I believe that's if you're hit by electric type move, your special attack improves. Alright, now we'll put you over there. And we'll put you over there. And then we'll move this back to its original position. And we can go to the wall panel. Okay, see now? See now we're making progress. Now we are making progress here. Okay, so we've got the max revive. Okay, cool. Alright. What's next? You may have been able to get past the Meow statues, but you can't get past me. Dude, I've gone past plenty of guys that look exactly like you have the same name. What makes you any different than the other losers I've been kicking ass? It's a muck. 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 Here comes the flag on. Here it comes. Here comes the flag on. Why did I hit Dragon Claw? I meant to hit Earthquake. Explosion! Oh no! Fly gone! Fly gone! All because, all because I hit Dragon Claw instead of Earthquake and I get Explosion. And now our newest recruit is on one life with everyone else. How fucking great is that? Jesus fucking Christ, that is some bullshit in this house. I tell you what, that is some bullshit. Oh man, that is... Uh... Giga Impact. Dude, you think you're going to impact me with a Giga Impact? Really? You're a fucking Fero, first off, so you got no backbone whatsoever. Yeesh, you should have just turned 360 degrees and get out of here. I'll tell you what, our newest recruit is really taking the beating right now, like holy fuck. Losing two lives in a matter of two episodes. And Firefly, you are not the you are not the Pokemon for this matchup. No 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 no. So I've got to heal up Garchomp on two point and then Garchomp two point on one life again. Oh, oh. Well Garchomp two point is not in one life with everyone else. Have fun. Skull. Don't you dare burn me. Zen headbutt. Let's see what it with the burn. That does nothing. Not even half. Huh. Get the flinch back. Alright, you know what? No, no, no. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck. First heal. Get rid of the burn. Bring it back to full. Watch the skull come through. No burn. Now let's watch the Zen headbutt destroy this motherfucker. And kaboom! Alright, so now we've got the big bell coming up, but I hate to do this, I hate to do this to you guys, but 
We'll save that for the next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and heal Flygon. Now we have four Pokemon on one life left. And our two pseudos on two lives each. Except for Metagross 1. But guys, that will be us for this, today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit like button down below. Because as always, just support is great. Appreciate And in the next episode, we will go ahead and find out who is behind the doors. Is it Geddes or is it someone else? So until next time, i see you guys. Stay safe, stay sharp. And I will catch you guys all next time. Later!